Virginia Tech, please, please beat Boise State tonight. Um, I think I speak for, at least I should speak for, any team, any fan of a college football team that has a shot in winning a national title this season. Um, and that's you know Texas Longhorns, Alabama Crimson Tide, Florida Gators, Oklahoma Sooners, Nebraska Cornhuskers, um, Virginia Tech Hokies, um, Ohio State. All these teams, and even others, fans of those teams, I think they are, need to be pulling hard for the Virginia Tech uh, Hokies tonight to beat Boise State. And I guess, you know, I can go into my whole Boise State thing right now, but first and foremost, you know, you should cheer against them because they're ranked ahead of you or they're in that pack. People need to stop treating uh, Boise State like an underdog team or like some, you know, uh, just some little Dave and Goliath story here. Um, If they want to be taken seriously like they do, then they need to get the treatment that all of us get treated, okay? Every time the Longhorns or the Buckeyes or the Crimson Tide, the Sooners get on the field, almost everyone else in the country is hoping they lose. So if Boise State wants to get that kind of treatment, then, hey, we'll give it to them. Um, But, yeah, I'm going to have to be the schedule snob here. Um, I don't – let me just get this straight on my, my thoughts on Boise State. Boise State is a very good team. A team that has the sh- has a chance and could probably beat everyone in the top ten, giving them a shot. They've proven it. They beat Oklahoma in 2007, which I was cheering for them in that one. Congratulations, guys. Um, you know, and they've knocked off some good teams in the past. No one doubts that they're a very good football team. But what we're all what what fans of the big time teams don't like is the fact that they can go through a schedule. They can win two good football games. Virginia Tech, and if they win tonight, and then Oregon State, which is a good team as well. And then you go through your conference, and you have no one on that schedule that would be a a good non-conference opponent for us uh, at Texas or anywhere else. I mean, if you want to look at it, you can sit here and just line up the conferences. And this is what people get upset about. I mean, if you want to to compare Texas and Boise State, your second-best team in your conference is Nevada. And then I guess if you were going to say Texas is the best, which that's debatable, but if Texas right now, if we're going to go through Texas, our biggest com- opponent is Oklahoma. Now, we know you've beaten Oklahoma in the past, but if you just want to look at schedule-wise, Oklahoma better than Nevada. Then you want to go to your third best team, and I guess that would be Fresno State. Ours would be Nebraska. But after Fresno State, I guess, I mean, it's hard to pick out these teams. I mean, Louisiana Tech, I guess, but then you know A and M will play them this year, and A and M will probably destroy them. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking down at your at the at the WAC conference, and when you start lining up teams, you know, going down, and you can do this with the SEC or the other conferences, you see just how easy of a road that is. And as a fan, I don't want to see a team penciled in already at the first after the first few weeks of the season already in the national championship because. Everyone they play, it's not that you're their favorite in your games, okay? Texas, Alabama, all of these teams will be favored in most of their games. Being favored is not it. It's how much of a challenge are you going to have, okay? Because I guarantee you, you put any of these top ten teams in the WAC conference, um, we would all go undefeated. It's it's not, I mean that's not debatable. I mean when you know San Jose State, uh, New Mexico State. Uh, you know, Toledo. Toledo got beat, um, which I'm not sure if they're part of the WAC or not. They made part of. The, I don't. I, I get the MAC and the WAC, but I mean, you play Toledo this year. Toledo got beat like fifty something to two by Arizona. Arizona is a mid level Pac-10 team, you know. And the thing is, Boise State, you are better than a lot of the Pac-10 teams. You're better than a lot of the Big Twelve teams. You're better than you know. You would compete in the SEC. You wouldn't win the SEC, but you would you know compete against a lot of those teams. No one doubts that. What, what we don't like if, if if we had a playoff system, then no one would deny Boise State a shot to go through that playoff. I would love to see that, and Boise State would get my first vote to get in that. But in the broken system we have, in the way that you know it's a beauty contest and all that kind of stuff. When you look at it from a fan of a team who's in one of these major conferences, a fan of a team who is constantly ranked in the top ten, um, you don't want to see Boise State there. And, you know, and also there's a pride issue to this, and this probably isn't very good for an argument, but it is 
um, you know, one of those things that fans look at and stuff. You remember Hawaii when they played Georgia, and Georgia just mopped the floor with them. Now, I'm not comparing Hawaii to Boise State. Boise State's way better than the Hawaii team is. Um, but no one gave Georgia any credit for that. I mean, Georgia went – Georgia – Georgia and USC that year should have played for the national championship. Those are the two best teams at the end of the year, but, you know, the way the system works. Um, Georgia destroyed Hawaii. Like, it wasn't a game. It, was, it looked like a bad non-conference game, like a tune-up game for Georgia. And so no one gave Georgia any credit for that. Uh, you beat a team you're supposed to beat. Now, Boise State has gained a lot of, um, gained a lot of uh, popularity. They've, and, and Chris Pearson's an excellent coach. Kellen Moore is a legitimate Heisman candidate and, uh, you know, passing all those guys. But if you say it's Texas versus Boise State or Oklahoma versus Boise State or Alabama or Florida and those teams win, yeah, they'll take – I mean, it, 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 just talking to a Longhorns fan, I'll take it. I'll take a national title over Boise State. But if you ask me who would you rather play, like if someone came to me and said, look, you're going to win the national title, who do you want to win it over? Boise State's not on that list. I'm going to take Ohio State or Alabama or Florida or one of those top teams. Um, look, Boise State's a great team, and they might, they might, I have a bad feeling that they will win tonight against Virginia Tech. I think Virginia Tech lost a lot of guys on defense. They still got Tyrod Taylor. They still got, got that great running game. Um, Boise State's got a lot of people coming back, but um, just as a fan, a Longhorns fan, um, I don't want to see Boise State run the table uh, and take a spot away from uh, one of the big time schools. Uh, I know it sounds like I'm a snob. Maybe I am. Um, but uh, for that reason, I guess. But but the other reason is just being a fan of a team, wanting to see your team go the furthest. And if you're ranked ahead of my team, I want you to lose. So uh, I don't think there's any problem cheering against Boise State. And people who are cheering against Boise State shouldn't get looked down upon like they're some kind of uh, elitist. Uh, though maybe we are. I don't know. So uh, hook them Hokies tonight. Um you guys, uh, you know Don V. I hope your boys uh, take care of Boise State tonight. I uh, hope you lose later on. I don't like. I don't want Virginia Tech to be there either. But uh, I'd much rather Virginia Tech uh, be at the end than uh, Boise State. So that's my thoughts on the game tonight. Uh, hoping, hoping Virginia Tech pulls it out. But if Boise State pulls it out, we'll um, and they can take care of Oregon State in two weeks. They might be just penciled in for the national championship. And uh, well, let's just hope that doesn't happen. So. We'll see you guys later.